Hey guys, so funny here, and today, well, I made a pretty big discovery today. You guys will be pretty amazed on what happened. Okay, so what I'm working on is a 2D platformer game. This is my first time doing like a 2D platform in general. So um, I'll show you guys the project in a little bit of what I'm exactly doing. But first, I really want to show you something that's going to really help people for making games or mini maps. Not mini maps, sorry. Or uh, maps that require the player to be still. And if they move left, right, up, or down, that it would do a test for. And uh, we'll test for it and then re-teleport the player back to the center. So, this is what I discovered. So, I'll show you the script on what I have been working on. And this is all on the Visual Studio Code, which I'm using a data pack. So, I, the, here's the teleport command right here. This is um, activated whenever I reset the map using the... Um, reset function and it just calls the player and uh, and then executes the player to do this function to do player teleport actually no it doesn't do it at the player it actually does it at the entity of uh it does it at the tv because the tv is a little different um i'll explain what's going on so it tests for the player's movement by having the teleport i don't know having the tag of tv at itself positioned where the player would be centered perfectly but move to the right, or actually this one's move to the front, just a teensy bit. Um, and then of course if entity, any player in adventure in a distance of 0 to uh, 0 0.18759 to run say W. So that means it's if I move forward, it'll say, hey, W, you know, and then it'll just teleport me back to the center in general, because it's a force teleport. Uh, same thing with east, south, and west. So basically what's going on here, if I'm in game mode adventure, which I am right now, if I hit the D button, which is for my right movement, it'll say the letter D. And same thing with A, W, and S. Also, don't worry about the movement thing. I forgot to get rid of that. There. Okay. So, um, yeah. You're able to move around, and it tests for it perfectly by saying the letter that you hit. So... Um, what's so groundbreaking about it? Well, if you do a command like this, uh, the attributes, and then of course the player that's playing the game of Minecraft generic movement speed, and you put base set at 0 0.0004. Watch this. You see the screen, right? Watch when I hit WASD. Here's W. This is left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, down. I'm spamming it now in all different directions. You can't even tell that I'm moving. And not to mention, it doesn't even count as a step on your step counter, which is really interesting. Like the walk one centimeter doesn't even count. It doesn't even add one. And it's still test portable. So, yeah. So if you're making like a first, not first person, uh, sorry. Um, If you're making like a uh, 3D, no, sorry, 2D. There we go. I'm lost for words right now. If you're making a 2D game and you need to have the player test for for WASD, this is the solution to have it not look like it's glitching around and it actually stays in place for you. And this requires 1.16.3, by the way, at least. Um, that's what I'm running. But I don't know how old the tributes command is, so I have no idea. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, also, I'll show you where the entity is. If I hit, uh, what is it? Spectator? There's the TV, which is for the sprite summoner, I guess. And um, if you were just to do... I'm not sure exactly what yet, but I'll do some testing. And to see if I can recreate this without the television. And you can just have the TV at the center where the, the player would be, but just as a marker or something. Or have it execute as the player. I'll see if I can figure that out for you guys. But basically, it's... Uh, um, the entity is one block higher than the normal player. Uh, so I put it negative one on all y-axis for carrots. And then, of course, it looks like I have... Um, if you were to center this, yeah, this is what it would be, I think. Nick, also, by the way, 9.5 is the distance I am away from the TV from uh, z-axis. So if you have this at zero right here, so zero, this will be negative... 
this will be 0 0.1876 to test for for um, east or west depending on positive or negative and it also depends on where the armor stands facing and all that stuff because I'm using carrots and then of course that same number for um, the z coordinates up and down or forward and backwards so that's the number I'm using and as well as the distance is 0 dot dot and then 0 0.18759 that's the coordinate I use to test for um, if the player moves by a hair. So I'll leave this command in the description. I'll also leave the unedited command in the description as well. But this is amazing. I can't believe um, I figured this out too. I don't know if anyone else has. I'm really sorry if like someone's already made a video on this and I'm just saying that I quote unquote found it and shit. But I don't know if someone already has done this or not. If so, credits to him. But how I discovered this was me and my friend were trying to figure out about sprites. And next thing you know, um, we're trying to um, do something like this. How do I describe it? Okay, so if I were to be like an spectator, which would be perfect, there would be an entity named Test um, where my exact position was. And we were trying to figure out how to center it. And... Um, so what my friend was doing to mess around was trying to change the movement speed while flying, but he couldn't. And I was like, wait, what if you set that at 0 0.0004? And guess what? We discovered how to uh, make the player barely move an inch and uh, test for a proper movement without the camera just jittering around. So that's that. <laughs> And you don't even need uh, slowness boots or anything like the um, Mr. Squishy did, you know? But yeah, that's that. I'll give you guys all the commands in the description. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. But before I leave, I'm going to show you the project that I am currently working on. So, first, I just got to... Oops, I launched the wrong program. Prepare to lag. Okay, close that. Okay. Here we go. Um, I got to fix one thing, and that is the reset. Instead of giving the player slowness, we're going to do this. Execute, uh, actually, no. attribute all players in mode equals adventure. Okay. Oh, wait, hang on. Execute as want uh, all players in mode equals adventure I can't spell right now run attribute at self and then change the movement speed there we go and also I'm gonna have this as the um the teleport test for as well um all right I'm back sorry about the whole delay and stuff um I was just trying to set up some things as well as I had a stupid phone call so I'm going to show you guys what I am working on. And so far, the game isn't truly playable. It's only like menu stuff wise, like playable, I guess. But it's not like truly playable where you can move your character just yet, but we're getting there. But um, I haven't coded that just yet because I'm still working on the overworld. So here we go. Oops, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, slash function. So anyways, here's the project so far, and I hope you guys like this project, because I'm working on it for now, I guess, and it's going to be one of my biggest projects, so here we go. And that's all there is so far. Still working on it. <laughs> I'm still adding more icons and stuff and paths. Um, that missing texture up there, don't worry about that. That's just the Yoshi's house, but I'm still adding that. But yeah, um, that's basically it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope I helped someone in some way, shape, or form for this uh, teleport command. And this discovery that I made for um, being able to test for, you know... The player moving without it without it like really moving at all like oops there's my camera sorry i'm trying to move but also let me hit f3 so you, 
Okay, or not F3, uh, F1, so you guys can see the chat, I guess. Oh, wait, I think it's stacked, isn't it? It was just working a moment ago. Hang on. Let me see what my, uh... Okay, it was just working a moment ago. 0.1. Oh, wait. Oh, it's because I have the slowness effect. Okay. That's why. I had the slowness effect. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, yes, that works. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope I helped in some way, shape, or form. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll keep you guys posted on this project. I'll try to stream it more often. Subscribe, leave a like, show this to your friends, and have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!